the movies I did when I was a little girl, I didn't have any interest in acting. I definitely fell in love with acting and decided I wanted to be an actress doing musical theater. Hi, I'm Iris Apatow and this is On The Rise. When I was 16, I did a play at my high school called Men On Boats. It was very difficult, it was like nine girls. It was about a um, bunch of men sailing through um, some rapids. And it was very strange uh, plot, but we all were in like little fake boats and we all had to act like we were really struggling to make it. And like, we're all playing guys and I played like a 19 year old guy. I remember all the parents after the show saying to the director, like, it's so great that you worked with like eight girls and one boy. Like, that's so wonderful that you guys incorporated that. And it was me, so I did my job. I convinced them. I think my name was like Bradley or something. <laughs> that's, I feel like, when I really started to see it as something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I miss high school theater. <laughs> My favorite musical is, I really like the spelling bee. What's the full name? It's called spelling bee, but there's a longer name for it. And Heathers, I was in Heathers in high school. That was, that's a very fun show too. <laughs> Anything with Patti Lapone. So maybe company. I have a lot of different favorites. <laughs> I played in my community theater. We did like a medley of different musical songs. And I was Cosette and I sang Castle on a Cloud. And that was my first role. But I guess if we're talking in terms of on screen, I played Charlotte and knocked up with, I was three years old. So yeah, that was my first role, I guess. <laughs> fetch. All right, bring it back. I'm playing fetch with my kids. Well, my movie, The Bubble, is about a group of actors who goes to London during lockdown to shoot a movie that's basically kind of similar to Jurassic Park and kind of how they all are very self-centered and kind of attention seeking and lose their minds being in isolation and not getting their way and how everything kind of gets out of control. My character, Crystal Chris, is a social media star and she gets taken to London to be in a new cast member in this franchise. And she is kind of met with a lot of jealousy and envy from her other cast members because she's far more successful than them and a lot younger than the rest of the cast. And it causes a lot of drama. Crystal just did a TikTok with a dinosaur. Wow. <laughs> it was very fun and I think it's like great exercise to like dance and everybody was just having the best time on set. And if it's not, you know, good technique, then at least it's funny watching us try to dance. I think that's all that matters. <laughs> I was like, wow, they're kinda good. I'm, I'm glad you think so. <laughs>
If I weren't an actress, I think I'd be a makeup artist. I take a special effects makeup course in college right now and I really like doing stuff like that. I've always wanted to do that since I was very little. Any like horror movies, that's because that's all I know how to do. That's my, my specialty and weirdly clown makeup, I guess. So a horror movie that has clowns in it, which is, you know, everybody's favorite. So I definitely do that or I own a coffee shop. That's the dream. Cause I, I, I work at a bakery slash coffee shop. I'm a barista. I am always jealous of the owner. Cause I'm like, she owns like a cute pink bakery and she's having the time of her life. Like that sounds really fun, but I'm happy just to work there and make coffee. <laughs> I, okay, it was two, it was, um, why am I forgetting this? This is a very big part of my life. Wake me up before you go. What's his name? George Michael. George Michael. <laughs> George, Michael. George Michael, I had a poster of George Michael and John Travolta hanging on my wall from when I was like three up until I was 10. Very young Iris, like had a really big crush on John Travolta and George Michael. I don't know why. I think I I, I heard that song, the wake me up. <laughs> and I was just like, that's the man for me. I, I don't regret it. I think I, good taste for a young six year old. And I would say Robert Pattinson, that would be a flat out lie. Cause it was not, it was George Michael and John Travolta. I kind of just want to have an apartment or a house or wherever I live with, you know, my cats and have like a garden and have a job. And that's kind of all I need to make me happy because I work towards that. I, that's why I work. I want to create my own positive space to like keep growing in and have a nice steady job. I think that's what anybody wants, you know? Do things that make me happy and have people around me who are kind and try to be productive. That's the one thing I want, to be productive. 